You've probably seen commercials for various services offering to straighten your teeth without ever having to see a dentist. You know, they say things like they're faster and easier and cheaper and sexier. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? I would say definitely read the comments and reviews when you see those ads online. Read the Facebook comments, do some light Googling, find out a little bit more about other people's experiences with the service. What's up? I'm Mike Frank. I'm a dentist. Today, we're going to talk about the right and wrong way to straighten teeth. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Pause the video. Read this. Anything I say confuses you, talk to your dentist or orthodontist about it. They can help you out. If it happens to be your birthday, happy birthday. So over the past several years, I've had a number of patients come in and tell me that all of their teeth are hurting all of a sudden. You know, they're like, this one hurt yesterday and that one hurts today. And I'm sitting there like, all of them? You know, they're just like, yeah, you know, this one hurt, that one hurt, this one's hurting. And I'm just, I'm like scratching my head, like all of them at the, at the same time. So I go through my little algorithm of tests, trying to figure out what's going on. I'm looking at things. Nothing's really making a whole lot of sense. I'm asking them if they have a history of, you know, jaw pain, joint pain, muscle issues, you know, uh, sinus issues, uh, headaches, migraines. And they're telling me like, no, nothing like this has ever happened to me before. You know, I'm starting to think like, is this person? crazy right? or am I an idiot you know do I just not know how to do my job like what's going on because none of this is making any sense but then I asked them you know have you done anything different lately has anything in your life changed well about a month ago I started wearing these new aligners and you know they sent me some stuff and I took an impression of my teeth at my house and then I mailed it to them and then they mailed me back these aligners and I've been wearing those aha eureka you know you're not crazy and I'm not an idiot I know what's going on now. See, if you start moving teeth around and you don't really know what you're doing, you can mess up the relationship between your jawbone and your skull. You can fudge up your jaw joint. So now your jaw isn't resting against your skull where it normally would because your teeth down here are clanking into each other in ways that they didn't used to, and that's interfering with the way the jaw settles up into your skull. Your jaw muscles can get hyperactive. You can start getting headaches. Your teeth can hurt to bite on. They can get cold sensitive. And then the pain you're having with your teeth and jaw muscles and joint causes you to clench and grind your teeth more, which causes more pain. It's a very vicious cycle. And you're super confused because it's hurting in different places all the time. So it just, there's no pattern to it. So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And I'm confused because when I look at your teeth, there doesn't look like there's anything actually wrong with them. Now I've gotten better at recognizing this because I've seen it happen a few times and I know what to do. You know, I'm going to send them down the street to an orthodontist that's a specialist who focuses on straightening teeth the right way, and they're going to fix the patient's bite so that they can eat without pain again. If you watch this video, please don't try to find me to straighten your teeth. I don't do orthodontics. Shoo shoo, get away from me. I will send you to a friend of mine and they'll do it for me. <laughs> orthodontics is actually pretty difficult. You have to know a lot of things that I don't know in order to do it well. Having your best interest at heart I'm going to send you to someone who's going to do things the right way. When I had my teeth straightened as a kid, I saw an orthodontist. Now, I'll admit, times are a little different from when I was a kid. There are some innovations happening in dentistry. So, in this video, we're going to talk about why trying to straighten your teeth through the mail without any help from a dentist may work, but also may not work at all. Trust me, there's a lot of things that can go wrong. Honestly, I actually had to have braces twice. I saw two different orthodontists in order to fix my teeth when I was a kid. So this stuff's not always so easy. I'm gonna try to explain some of the things to look out for because that's a lot of time and money to invest in something that maybe isn't gonna work or might even cause worse problems for you. Potential problem number one. We already talked about it. You can mess up your bite. Uh the way your teeth come together, that can jack up your jaw joint, cause all kinds of discomfort. If you have existing jaw joint or jaw muscle problems or any history of such problems, I strongly recommend that you see an orthodontic specialist to straighten your teeth. If you try to cut corners, you're just asking for trouble. You're basically saying, hey trouble, come on over here. I wanna hang out with you. Mom, dad. Meet my new girl, Trouble. We're going steady. Don't do it. Bad idea. Also, you might want to keep in mind what plan B is in case something does go wrong. If your jaw does get messed up, who do you call, right? Some random dentist like me who you've never met before? 
who doesn't know what's going on, and then we get to try to solve a little mystery together. If you go to the orthodontist directly, something comes up, you know who to call. You have a whole team of people close by dedicated to taking care of you. Something to consider. Potential problem number two, cavities. If you are going to start any orthodontic treatment, whether through the mail, with an orthodontist, with a general dentist, whoever, you need to have had a recent dental exam to make sure that your teeth are healthy, you need to have excellent oral hygiene, and you need to understand healthy eating and drinking habits for your teeth. I have other videos you can watch on brushing and flossing and healthy eating and drinking for healthy teeth. Wearing aligners can be very damaging to your teeth if you're not careful. You need to clean your teeth off after you eat and drink anything before you put your aligners back in. Otherwise, the aligners trap food underneath them against the teeth and your saliva can't rinse it off, so the food sits there for a long time. Bacteria on your teeth turn that food into acid and that acid wrecks your teeth. I once saw a patient a few months after he got his clear aligners he had no cavities when I saw him previously. He showed up this next time. He had 14 new cavities, all right? I've never seen anyone develop that many cavities that quickly. It was absurd. You don't want that, all right? Cavities are 100% preventable, even if you're wearing clear aligners. You just have to know how to do it healthfully. Watch the other videos on my channel. Follow the guidelines. You won't get cavities. Potential problem number three making gum disease worse and losing bone. If you have gum disease that is moderate to severe, now is not the time to be moving teeth. Advanced gum disease means that the bony support structure around your teeth is breaking down. Guess what breaks down when you use orthodontics of any kind to move teeth through the bones of your jaws? That's right, bone. If the bone in your jaw is sick and breaking down, which is what gum disease is, that's not when we want to move teeth through the bone and break it down even more. Don't kick your jaw bone when it's down. It doesn't recover well. You need to have your gums evaluated, make sure they're healthy before orthodontic treatment. If you don't, there's the potential to end up with gum and bone tissue loss, spaces between your teeth that don't look good, teeth that get loose, root sensitivity. Just make sure you get the gums and bone tissue healthy first. You need to have that solid foundation of support before you remodel the rest of the house. Potential problem number four, you don't have enough space to properly straighten your teeth without other additional dental procedures first. If your teeth are really crowded, sometimes you got to make more room. That can mean removing a permanent tooth or more than one permanent tooth. When I had my braces, I had four permanent teeth removed in order to make space to straighten my teeth appropriately. That's why I recommend seeing an orthodontist. They can sit down with you and discuss different scenarios, right? They can say, all right, here's what I can make your teeth look like if we leave all of the teeth in place. Here's what I can make your teeth look like if we take this or that tooth out. You might look at the different scenarios and you say, well, I like that one better. Sweet, you just made a more intelligent, informed decision. Maybe you don't need a ton of extra space. Maybe you just need a little bit of space opened up. Sometimes an orthodontist or a general dentist can just shave down the sides of the teeth and select specified areas, open up little mini gaps that we can then close and fix your crowding issue. As far as I know, you can't really shave teeth down through the mail. Not yet. I mean, I don't know, maybe the postal service wants to expand their, you know, their offerings. I, you know, that's fine. I, whatever, <laughs> if that's what we want to do. I don't know, you could have like Uber for having your teeth shaved down, I guess, if you want. What I'm trying to say is if you don't do something to make some more space, you're going to have a hard time correcting crowded teeth with clear aligners of any kind. Your other option is to expand all of the teeth outwards, right? Make a wider arch and create, you know, space that way. But that can be very damaging, particularly in adults, to the bone and gum tissue. You can end up with a recession and sensitivity and the roots of your teeth are showing. So now you've got like this brown and yellow that you didn't have before in your smile. People don't necessarily like that. All avoidable if you have a smart orthodontist planning ahead for you. Potential problem number five, airway issues. If you have sleep apnea, generally speaking, I would not recommend trying to straighten your teeth with anyone other than an orthodontist. And if you ask your orthodontist how straightening your teeth 
could affect your sleep apnea and they have no idea what you're talking about, I might find a different orthodontist or at least ask them to give you an explanation why they're not worried about it affecting your sleep apnea. See, if you move teeth back, they can push the tongue back and all of a sudden that worsens your sleep apnea because it's blocking off your airway more. This can happen for some patients. If you have sleep apnea, you know it's nothing to mess with. It increases your risk for adverse cardiovascular events like heart attacks and strokes. Why mess around with that? If you have sleep apnea, bring it up with your orthodontist. Potential problem number six, implants and bridges. Once a dental implant is in place, you can't move it. It's stuck. Stuck. Sword in the stone, even King Arthur himself couldn't, couldn't budge it, you know, just I don't know what that looked like, but uh, it's, not, it's not moving. I don't know why it's, I can't get it. I'm sorry. Stuck. Bridges can move, but they're not easy to move. So if you plan on replacing teeth, be very sure that you don't want orthodontics in the future before you would do that. You almost always want to move the teeth first and then replace missing teeth once everything is in an ideal position. If you have an implant and you try to get aligners through the mail and they don't know that you have an implant, that's very likely going to mess up your treatment. And here's the thing, taking an impression of your teeth at home, there's really no way for them to know that you have an implant in whatever position you have an implant in. They can't tell. Things aren't gonna move how you would predict. Another treatment complication with bridges and implants is that you can't place composite buttons on implant or bridge crowns. Which brings us to definite problem number seven. Definite problem number seven. You can't place composite buttons on teeth through the mail. I mean, again, I don't know, we're farming this out to, you know, FedEx and Amazon and Uber or whatever, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, there's this new app on my phone. It's called Uber Teeth. Ha <laughs> ha, dude. Yeah, I, I do all my dental appointments now. It's digitally. This guy comes to my house. We like chill in my bathroom. It's like pretty cool. He shucked one of my teeth into the toilet last week. It was rad. <laughs> it's called Uber Teeth. <laughs> this guy, he hangs out in my bathroom. <laughs> yeah, you don't even have to see a dentist. It's like, oh. <laughs> He shucked one of my teeth into the toilet last week. So you can't place composite buttons via the mail. In order for clear aligners to work, you have to put composite buttons on the teeth so that the clear aligners have something to grab onto. Composite buttons for clear aligners are like brackets for braces, those little silver things that have the little tiny rubber bands around them. If there's nothing to grip, if there's nothing to grab, then you can't apply the forces and torques that you need in order to shift and move the teeth how you want to shift and move the teeth. It's like driving a car without a steering wheel. How are you gonna turn exactly? Some cases also require elastic bands or a minor surgical procedure to place something called a temporary anchorage device, or you need to have something called a power chain for a shorter period of time. There's just some movements that you can't accomplish by simply shrink wrapping something around your teeth without anything else. Like it's just, it doesn't make any sense. It's not physically possible. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense, man. What are you doing? I mean, will, will the teeth probably get somewhat straighter? Kinda, maybe, like probably, I guess, in most-ish cases. <laughs> but are they going to be perfectly aligned in an ideal position? I doubt it. Look, man, it, it just doesn't make any sense. Potential problem number eight. Straightening the teeth may not resolve other cosmetic issues you have with your smile. What if your midline is off? Generally, you want the midline of your front two teeth in the center of your face. A computer program that's only looking at your teeth and not your whole face isn't gonna be able to get that right. You also want your midline perpendicular to a line in between your eyes, the interpupillary line. The interpupillary interpupillary line. You want perpendicular, okay, to that, like this, all right? You don't want it tilted like this so that your teeth are lopsided. Again, a computer program doesn't have the reference point for that. And honestly, even if they had that information, good luck correcting that well just with clear aligners and no modifications to the teeth. 
What if you don't like the amount of gum tissue that you display when you smile? What if you don't like the size, color, or shape of individual teeth? What if your teeth are worn down or chipped? What if you don't like your lip position? All of these things should be taken into account and discussed as part of your whole treatment plan before any treatment starts. You need a roadmap before you jump on the highway with a car that you can't steer. And hey, maybe you don't trust me or any other dentist. You know, you think we're a bunch of ding dong, stupid heads or whatever. You'd rather go with self-driving cars. That's fine. That's cool. It's your choice. But at least now you have an idea of the risks. All right. You understand a little bit more about what you're getting yourself into. That's my goal. I find TED Talks about machine learning algorithms as fascinating as anybody else. It's crazy what things are happening no question, the robots are improving. They're catching up to us. As far as teeth go, I just don't know that we're all the way there yet. But hey, if you wanna see a robot dentist, that's fine. Like I'll find something else to do with my life. I'll figure it out. Can a robot do this? I mean, any openings at Chippendales? I can be a dancer. My name's already Mike, you know? I can hang out with Matthew McConaughey and Channing Tatum. Side note. If you haven't checked out Matthew McConaughey's book, Green Lights, it's pretty interesting. You should check, check that out. If you liked this video, please like it, uh, subscribe, share with your friends. Just find your friend who has the most janked up teeth and just be like, I think you need to watch this video and do something about, no, don't do that. that don't be mean to your friends, come on. I don't know, if you don't wanna subscribe, you could like throw some dollar bills at your computer screen or your phone just as like tips or whatever. At the clubs, you're supposed to, what is it? Am I doing it right? Is this, I don't know. Just give me, throw money at your phone for me. Maybe if you want to be generous, you can uh, toss some $5 bills in there. I don't know. Maybe you'll get a, get a little action. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll shake a little booty for you. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. I was just counting all my cold, hard YouTube cash. Is this too much? Is this, is this distracting? How much of a problem do you think paper cuts are in like the stripper industry? It seems like this could be a hazard. Like how many workers comp claims get filed over paper cuts? It just, it seems like that could be an issue. For all of you who are hoping I was going to strip at the end of this video, um, no, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to seek out uh, my OnlyFans account for that. That's not a YouTube. If you wanna see that, you're gonna have to pay the premium prices. Nobody's gonna buy the cow if they get the milk for free, you know? My father taught me that. And he would say, don't give away the cow, son. There's milk, cows and milk. You know, nobody's gonna buy the cow. This is Mike Frank, Chip and Dale's audition number three. They told me that, they told me I wasn't gonna get far. So I told him like this, look. But I, I get the, um, I get the gig. Am I on the, am I on the team? Oh, I gotta do more, more cardio. This is, this is sad. I only danced for like 15 seconds before I started talking like this. I need to, I need to start going for jogs or something. Is it good if you throw your back out when you're dancing for like just a small amount of time? Is that, is that? Hmm, is that healthy? Is it good? Nah, it's probably not good. Hey, listen, I don't care what you think. You think you can judge me, YouTube? All right, this is my apartment. This is my YouTube channel. I'll dance how I want to dance. I don't care how crazy it gets. Watch out! What you looking at? So did I, did I get the job? Am I on the click, click the like button, click the like button, click the like button.
Mom, Dad, this is my new girl, Trouble. Yeah, we're going steady. Aha, Eureka, you know, you're not crazy and I'm not a complete idiot. I know what's going on now.